Hello, this is Erica from Locksmith. I am going to walk you through a tutorial about how to set up a basic lock with our app. So I've headed to the Locksmith app and by default, the home page here will show. And on the home page, you'll see this add lock section here with this search bar. This is the resource search bar that can search for resources on the front end of your online store. In my case, I want to hide this collection one that is a part of my test store and the products within that. So I'm going to start typing in a keyword to see if that brings it up. It does. Um, if it didn't, um, I could always type in the entire title, collection one, the handle, collection dash one, as well as the collection ID. You can search for resources by ID number as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click this collection one resource that popped up. There are two settings that are enabled by default. Enable this lock, I do want that, as well as protect products in this collection. I want that as well. So that's good to go. I'm going to click the create lock button down here. And now that that's set up, I don't have any keys on this lock. So right now no one can open it. For my collection lock, I would like all of my customers that visit the page to have to sign in in order to be granted access to the collection. So I'm going to click the add the first key button right here. And I can either scroll to find the is signed in key, uh, which is right here, or I can start typing in keywords as well here to search for it. Is signed in is the key condition I want. I'll click that. And as you can see, there is this permit if the customer is signed in. So that's good to go. I want to know a few settings here on the right hand side. So under settings and under where it says for unauthorized guests, um, I want to hide this collection and its products from my source native search results page. There's this pop up here that in blue, um, little notification here just to warn you, hey, these products in this collection will still appear in the search results and collection list. So that includes other collections um, as well as search results. I'll enable this setting here to make that go away and also protect everything. And then on my test store, there is a navigation link here for collection one. I want to hide that as well. So I'm going to enable this first setting, hide any links to this collection and its products in my shop's navigation menus as well. Since that's what I want, everything looks good with the settings, I'm going to save right up here in the upper right hand corner. Make sure you do that in order to save all your changes. So that should be set up, this little notification that my changes have been saved. And I can confirm that by going back and clicking this back button, which will bring me back to the home page. And as you can see here, um, there is this collection one lock that has been created with the permit if the customer is signed in key. So that is good to go. And if you have any questions at all about this or anything else, please do feel free to get in touch with us. So if you go to the help page and app, you can click the start a conversation button, or you can always email at us at team at Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.